The Accelerator TV crew recently took a trip to Scandinavia for Oslo's Bilarm Festival and stopped through Gothenburg, Sweden to talk with the Kreps, a side project of the band's studio fronted by Fredrik Linsen. We had Linsen talk about the five albums that most influenced his band's 60s pop-flavored sound for this installment of Five Star, our regular feature in Accelerator magazine. from the Krebs. Oh, you can't stop now. Can't stop now. Oh, you can't stop now. Can't stop now. We're gonna talk about some records that influenced us doing uh, our record What Else. And the Krebs, we wanted to uh, catch some of the naive sound of the, of the 60s, like uh, birds are... Leaves are sweetly turning it's not how we sound uh, like this song, but sometimes how we want it to sound. It's a very uh, beauty and free sound of the uh, 60s California, I think. Pure sunset. <laughs> this is T-Rex. Kind of boogie, but very much inspiration uh, isn't how it sounds. It's uh, I, I think it's the uh, thoughts of uh, some artists that are inspiring. So it's like uh, The Fall or Mark Boland. Uh, I'll not always listen to it, but uh, when I think of them, I, I get inspired and uh, write songs. I really like the more obscure Tyrannosaurus Rex sound as well from the beginning with guitar and uh, bongo drums. It's not very creps but uh, inspiring in its own way. I think this is uh, second-hand birds. It's uh, like uh, the crepes as we are now. This is uh, Creation Records in the 80s in England. I think uh, they released uh, two albums or something uh, before the new wave of creation came with uh, such band as Ride and like a uh, showgazing scene. They try to sound like birds and I, I think uh, it's sometimes very inspiring with bands that uh, tries to be something they aren't. I think that's uh, yeah, very touching. Loud Up, also a forgotten band. I think this one uh, was one of the first records I bought as a, you know, as an aware uh, buyer. <laughs> when I was a teenager I, I really uh, liked uh, the Manchester sound and uh, from England and so it really affected me a lot. The reason why I picked this one is because uh, the singer died last year. They're a very hedonistic band that uh, caught uh, most part of the Manchester scene and made it even madder. They had a hit called Weekender or something yeah. like that. Weekender that uh, yeah, was a Weekender. tale about a rave scene uh, and how to stay up all weekend. He's called uh, UNPOC. This is a Scottish guy that only released uh, one album. A very talented guy. Uh, I don't know, he just decided that he wasn't interested in uh, making any more records. When we uh, started talking about Krebs, uh, I think this uh, I had four or five songs with me to then uh, try to you know catch uh, what sound or uh, what kind of band we should be and I think this song was one of them. I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, little 
show and uh, maybe found some new favorite songs. As you uh, can see, I'm not much into the originals. I'm uh, more <laughs> into the second-hand bands like uh, Razor Cats, High Lamas, and uh, yeah, Flowered Up. Mm -hmm. 